What's up, y'all? I'm back. Y'all ready for that double upload action? Because I know I am. Shit, we need to start spamming that down below. In that comment section, hashtag double upload gang, because y'all already know we up in here. We love to do that. We love to do it. But uh, we about to definitely start off with uh, that second video. We don't need to hear no more about my bullshit ass talking. We don't need to know about my day. We don't need to know about nothing else. We just about to get strictly into this video. Um, I'm actually about to go to the gym right after this, man. I... Been prolonging it, man. I'm tired in the mug, too. Got out of class and just had a rough-ass day. But it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Uh, we about to jump into four uh, two faces. Two faces is what I keep seeing down below, too. I know that uh, some of y'all definitely want to see that one. Uh, I'm going to try to interpret this one the best way I can because some of that stuff I get, but some of that stuff, too, it just be, it be over me because I don't be knowing, like, We'll be going on sometime. But I, I do my best to try to interpret it, and I've been doing pretty good, I think. So uh, let's let's jump into this video, and we can stop hearing about what I got to say about it. So let's let's go. You know, I got to check my notifications, too, you know. Somebody was texting me earlier, but I'm not going to check it till after the video. <laughs> See, he got a girl again. Hey, low key, four kind of remind me of Stacy up in uh, the wood. The fact that I need you, but I'm glad that I found you, cause you know I can't live without you. Nah, I can't live without you. And yesterday I heard a friend of mine talking about you, saying he needs you more than I do, man. Fuck that nigga. I always knew he was a punk. I couldn't trust that nigga. Plus that nigga just don't deserve you. Late nights I was chasing you, breaking mama's curfew. See, back then I was foolish, thinking you'd give me a chance. But honestly, I was naive, and patience is a virtue. No, I spent so much time with you, but I never mention it. When you come around, I see people's true intentions. I see the way they look at you, trying to get your attention. And the way they fight over you, that shit ruins friendships. But you don't care, do you? They wish they had you. See the look in their eyes? They jealous of me, I have you. Now they want me to die. You see, the problem is, no matter how much I'm with you, I'm still lonely. Plus, I feel like you the reason I lost my real homies. But let's face it, no one else can replace you. All the times I kept you safe, you should be telling me thank you. I refuse to spend all my time in this world trying to chase you. Chasing this dream I have is more important. I can still taste you. I can still feel you to the touch. Well, I guess I spent too much time on you. I put my life and my family all to the side for you. See, you know that I need you. I'm going to pause it right here because girls like that, Y'all don't need that in your life. You really don't. I mean, I can guess they can say the same for guys too, for the girls out there. But if I had a girl like this in this situation where she, okay, y'all together, y'all may be in love, you y'all may not be. But at the same time, if she's the girl that constantly causing drama between you and your boys by being around and she being over flirtatious and shit like that, it's time to kick her ass to the curb. Ain't no way you about to sit up here and tell me you about to do all this in my face and think I'm about to be okay with that. Some girls in these in this day, like they don't like stuff like that. Like they they feel if you complain to them about that, oh stop being a bitch, stop being a crybaby. Damn, you cry more than females do. Like if you hear that shit, it's just time to go, man. Like I don't I don't play that. That's one thing I don't play. I don't like an over flirtatious girl. It's it's cool to be friendly, but over friendly, come on now. And then you you got the girl that just constantly just want to give these dudes just attention. Like don't lead him on. Like don't do that. If you in a relationship with with somebody and you know. The actions that you take can possibly lead to somebody getting mis misled. Then, shit. I mean, that's your fault. It's boundaries. It is boundaries. Like you need to understand that you can't. It's some stuff that you just shouldn't do. But some girls will never understand that. Some guys will never understand that. But I know I do, because I know I don't do that. I don't put my girl in those situations to where it's gonna cause drama between me, my family, and friends like that. It ain't no fit, man. Nah, no, it's it's not worth it at the end of the day. So some of y'all, you know, y'all. You can learn some stuff. There's some people out there that are genuinely that's just good people, but she ain't one of them right now. So let's get back into this video because I want to see what the hell about to finish and what's about to escalate. So let's, let's watch this. But I won't die for you. And the truth is I hate you because there's two sides to you. See, one day y'all can be so close and tight. The next day, y'all fighting because she over there trying to show this other man attention. And don't put yourself in that situation. Around you, hate the fact that I need you, but I'm glad that I found you, cause you know I can't live without you. Nah, I can't live without you. And yesterday, I heard a friend of mine talking about you, saying he wants you so bad that he'll do anything to get you. 
So we keep his magazine. That's crazy. Like it's no issue. I miss you. But ever since I had you, I ain't been the same. I hate to admit it, but you changed me. Yeah. For better or worse. Shit, I probably couldn't tell you. But honestly, if you left me, I'd probably be a failure. Or at least that's what they'll think about me. See, I know myself and I know I'm good without you. All these people, they just speak about me. Talking out their ass and saying my name. Telling me since I've been with you, I ain't been the same. But shit, you taking care of my mama, making sure that she's happy. Got her a brand new mattress and put food in the pantry. Show these people I'm everything that they said I can't be. So if they hate me for needing you, they don't understand me. So how could I disrespect Look you? At that. Even though you no good for me, I can never neglect you. Even through hard times, you was always there when a friend do. I don't know if it was God himself or the devil who sent you, but... You came along, I was the one they doubted, laughed at, and hated on. Now, all of a sudden, they not mean because of you. People talk to me, people treat me like a king because of you. But back when I didn't have you, I wasn't shit. Now, everyone know you with me, they love me. Go suck a dick. You see, I fucking hate you because you ripped my fucking family apart. I lost friends because of you. How can you have a heart? You don't have a heart. You don't have feelings for shit. Now, you don't care what people go through. You don't care if they sick. You don't care if they die. What you do is sick to me. Everyone looks at you like you rule the world, but you don't mean shit to me. You got two sides, you got two faces. Now you wondering who's this person in all these places. But this person's not human. This person can't feel. It's the Ooh, almighty shit. dollar that we all been chasing. Two faces. Oh, I was about to say, so did he just kill him? And the girl was left with him, but apparently he he killed her too. But damn, like that that caught me off guard. Like I kind of seen where it was coming, but I thought it was going to be more of like she leaving with his boy, something like that. I didn't think they was going to get popped. Like, damn. But then again, like I said, there's people that's like that. Like, you, man, you can't be doing that. And there again, that's somebody that's like, it's, 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 Oh, I, can't, I don't know how to put that into words, man. That's just, ah, uh, I don't put myself in situations. I really do have a tight circle. Like I, I got a couple friends that I really just genuinely kick it with because you can go to school with somebody for so long and y'all graduate later on and then they come back around. Hey, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. You chopping it up. But then again, it's, I don't know you. I knew you back when we was at high school. I don't know you five years after that. So I don't want to put myself in a situation where I think everything cool. You get to a party, everything start to get escalated. Boom, the nigga you came to the party with. Bow. Hit you, shoot you. Like, I don't I don't even do house parties. That's that's where it, it come around me. I'll go to the bar occasionally, but I don't do house parties no more because I'm not putting myself in that situation. You never let nobody know what your finances are. Don't let them see you making moves. Don't do none of that. Like, there's no reason to brag because when you brag... Or even if you're not bragging and they know you got it like that, that's what create issues. So I don't put myself in that situation to be around people like that. Not to say that there are people like that that's around me, but still you just keep your stuff small so that you don't have to encounter problems like that. But damn, I just, that caught me off guard. But at the same time too though, like he said, I don't understand why he shot her because uh, he said he would do anything to get her. So if you're trying to get her, why would you shoot her? Like if it, uh, like I, I didn't understand that, but there's been definitely, I definitely can say from experience, there has been friends that I've dated girls in the past that like, man, how you get her, man? How you get her? Like, man, I got to get her. They, guess what happens? Soon as you break up, they the person that's over there trying to comfort her, talking about some, yeah, you know, he wants shit to begin with, blah, blah, blah. You know, everybody encounter problems like that, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if, if he can clearly get you or... Vice versa, if the girl can get your ex-boyfriend or something like that, shit, it wasn't meant to be. You clearly knew it was something going on when y'all was with, with each other. So it's like, damn, like, I don't, I don't know. You just never know nowadays. So I, like I said, I'm putting myself in a situation. I'm happily single now, single for a, what, a year and a half now. So I'm good. Like, don't get me wrong. Eventually I'll start dating again, but I'm good right now, man. You just don't know who to trust. It can be somebody that you like. You can be cool with all, all everybody in a circle. Like, nah, bro, we ain't never do this or none of that stuff. And clearly, they start messing around secretly. What can you say? You can't say shit at the end of the day because it, it is what it is. So, damn, this is a deep video. And I definitely appreciate y'all putting me on this one as well, too. So, if y'all like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button where we do these reactions. K-Mac reacts. Come on now. And uh, for some of y'all that don't uh, follow me on other social media, don't forget, man, Snapchat. 
Instagram, like I'd be on there. I'd be on there. I, I think I Snapchat more than anything though, which is crazy. But so if y'all want to follow my crazy life where I be vlogging on Snapchat, then go ahead and do that. I'll definitely put it down in the description below. And uh, yeah, get in that comment section, spam it up, man. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next videos, alright? So don't forget, don't forget, fuck with your boy. Alright? <laughs> Peace.